so good morning everyone welcome to this session uh, this session if you look at it this is typically a session wherein i just want to kind of have a small interaction with all of you and uh, just to kind of give you an overview of how do you prepare yourself for 2022 placements okay that's typically the 2022 batch students i just want to have a small interaction with you just to kind of give you an overview of how do you get started with placements what are all the job opportunities that are available how do you prepare yourself for product and uh, the service based companies and everything okay so before i get started with that i just want to run through a small slide that will describe about what six phrases into how we have been like kind of progressing over a period of 11 years okay so just a small video on how six, what six phrases is all about okay just like a 30 minute 30 second video about it okay just go through this So this is just a small video on what we are okay and how we kind of approach our, uh, our training and everything and what is our outcomes and everything. So now I'll just get started with the core uh, fundamental thing like how this COVID is kind of impacting placements okay and uh, just a small intro of like what are all the companies that you can expect for placement and everything okay. So just wanted to kind of tell you like I'm not sure like how many of you really appreciate engineering course that you do because there is often there is news in the market that engineers don't find a job engineers are jobless and a lot of other negative things are always surrounded by us okay so just wanted to have a small discussion around it and then like probably get into it okay so today if you look at it uh, at least i would say like in the last uh, three to four years the the, the the entire definition of an engineer is kind of changing engineers are no more the people who would do the normal routine work and everything because now if you look at it lot of other uh, uh, the arts and science recruitment has get, uh, got started and lot of software jobs that earlier engineers were doing like 5 10 years back now it's all like kind of replaced by arts and science students engineers now if you look at it especially in top notch companies the expectations are like pretty much different the expectations are like an engineer has to be a really an agile person agile is something like an engineer who should be able to kind of evolve himself with all the changing trends and that is where you talk in terms of skilling upskilling and reskilling a skilling is basically typically like you skill yourself upskilling is nothing but like whatever you have learnt okay the technology could have changed the technology could have emerged into something new so you'll have to constantly upgrade yourself and kind of move to the next level and reskilling is something wherein like some of the jobs that are done by engineers are like kind of completely automated today it's it's become completely redundant so what you'll have to do is you'll have to forget whatever you have learnt and you have to kind of learn it again that is where you call it as reskilling 
and the next important factor is like about the ability to multitask okay no more you can like kind of have things queued up in your memory like you say like okay I complete one thing I start with the next thing the ability to multitask and and like kind of be an out of the box thinker is something that is like very 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 important and today if you look at it in terms of skill sets if you look at it coding has emerged as the basic or like i would say like the most important skill set that is required for anyone to crack into a service based company or a product based company and apart from all the other communication skills and analytical skills okay and more of like the disruptive technologies whatever we call as a future technologies like iot uh, artificial intelligence data science and everything is gaining lot of importance and everyone wants an engineer to be an innovator and not an executor innovator is nothing but like it's to put it in simple terms like they want you to design a video game rather than just playing a video game okay they want you to build the products rather than be a person who could use the products so that is where i would see like all these things coming into uh, picture now and here if you look at it where does the real journey for placement start okay does covid really have an impact on placements whatever we have seen until now covid does not have a very big impact on especially on the it placements are concerned because everywhere around the world if you look at it there are so many things that are getting digitalized now even countries like germany and especially the uk where they were all like kind of against this outsourcing model have all started to look into india as a destination wherein they can start outsourcing start building innovative products start going digital and as a result of which what we see now is like we have seen an enhanced placements in terms of that okay and now here if you look at it uh, i'm i'm sure like all of you follow our twitter and facebook page just today morning if you look at it i've just posted something on twitter wherein there is a news that says indian offshore model will dominate it scene for a decade okay that's as simple as that it it simply says that for the next 10 years there are going to be abundant job resources that are going to be available and here if you look at our facebook page i just posted something like uh, two days back from right yeah see here cognizant had to let go of businesses because he couldn't hire talent and that is where this real scenario is cognizant is not able to do all the businesses that has come to it because it's not able to hire talent or hire the right talent no one today is ready to hire uh, is is not no one is kind of ready to hire anyone who is available in the market they are very clear they want specific skill sets they want it to be like very good resources and then only they want to hire it and again i would request all of you to follow our facebook and uh, twitter okay because there will be lot of placement news that we will be like kind of posting it in these two channels because again this is i said is a is as a channel wherein we want to kind of interact with students so that is the reason we want to kind of post all these things in twitter as well as in our facebook page just go to twitter or facebook type in six phrase you should be able to see it okay so where does the journey of placement really start does it start in the third year does it start in the first year a month before a week before or a day before placement or even during the placement where where do you see it really starting and to me if you look at it uh, the real preparation for say placement starts from the day you enter into an engineering college because once you enter into an engineering college you start studying you build a cgp this subject cgp is a very very important criteria because not all the companies allow all the students to take part in the trials even now your placement season would have started you would have noticed that every company the first criteria comes up is a cgpa so how can you build a cgpa you can can you build it in the third year can you build it in the final year or during the placement season you cannot do it so the journey really begins from day 1 when you step into the college where you got to have a very good C- cgpa and this is something that has started to happen at least in the last 5 to 6 years if you look at 10 20 years back engineering was more like uh, 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 engineering or like i would say like the placement scenario for it industries were just starting to progress wherein what they did is they just started to, wherein you, you could see like lot of companies hiring lot of candidates so it's more like there are they were like find that students you select the best 200 or 300 and then you offer them a job but today if you look at it there are almost like 1000 2000 students in each and every college so what they do is they the first round of process is basically not selecting the best candidate but rejecting the unfit candidates first you reject first you eliminate all the unfit candidates then you get a list of suitable candidates you interview them and then you select the best candidates that is how the placement has progressed over this period of time okay and if you look at the placement companies on a very broad category i would classify them as product companies it companies mnc startups core companies and non tech companies okay product companies is typically all your marquee uh, marquee uh, dream offers super dream offers marquee is nothing but uh, companies that offer you greater than 20 lakhs 
super dream is nothing but 10 to 20 lakhs dream offers is from 5 to 10 lakhs IT service companies is typically all your Cognizant, Accenture, Wipro and everything. But now what we see in the last two years is even these companies have started to offer digital roles wherein a, a student gets paid around 6.5 to 7 lakhs or even up to 8 lakhs. And in terms of hack with infin, everything even much greater than that. So that is a small change that we are seeing in, even with the services company hiring students on a higher pay package. MNCs is typically, they, they fall under the IT services or the product company categories, but even there are companies other than the IT companies who come in for recruitment. Startup, again, this is something that's got really uh, new in the last, I would say, like five years, wherein a lot of companies, a lot of startup companies have come in, a lot of funding is happening for all these companies, and a lot of placements are happening around these. Core companies is typically all your mechanical, triple civil and all these core jobs and non-tech companies or roles are typically, I would classify this into two categories. One is all the IT, IS sectors like all your BPO, KPO and all those stuff. Then the other non-tech roles are basically, basically all your business analytics and all those things. Companies like Mu Sigma, data analytics and all those companies who hire candidates on a very high package but they are more of non-technical jobs. It's more of data analytic work and everything. Again, when we speak in terms of the core companies, I've always heard students, especially from mechanical civil background, they come and tell us like, I want placements only in the core industry and everything. A small piece of advice, it's up to you to take it or not, but it's a small piece of advice is anyone who's pretty much smart enough has to understand, has to understand what is the reality around them. How, how many jobs are there in core and uh, core sectors? You should now understand, at least like hearing from all your seniors for all these days, you should now understood the fact that not every student who who gets like who was like studying in the mechanical civil and all these mechatronics and everything they get into a core job so you got to understand the fact that job opportunities at present are available more in the it industry so if you are like really smart enough what you should be doing is like first get a job in an it company because that is what is available in large numbers and then start hunting your dreams or start chasing your dreams wherein you want to get really placed into a core company have this it company job as a backup once you have a backup, you might ask me like, why do you want to have it? Because once you have a backup, definitely your confidence level will be on a higher end. Because you obviously know that even though, if, even if you're not getting into a core company, you always have a job to take care of you right after your education. And you'll not feel the pressure like once you complete education, you move out of your college, you start feeling the pressure that you don't have a job in hand. So my sincere advice would be like, get started with, get started with an IT company and then start chasing your dreams, dreams okay? So what are the skills that are tested? Typically, the skills that are tested is basically all your aptitude skills, technical skills in terms of like the coding and the concepts wherein you're asked to do a program and everything, group discussion, core subjects, like if you look at it, uh, especially in the core industries, core subject competency is like very much required, technical and HR interview, okay? So this is typically like how do you crack into an online exam? See, cracking an online exam is no easy joke, okay? I understand that everyone has to be like very good on the basics. Basics is something that we have started uh, inducting every student into. Basics is very important. You need to have a knowledge on programming. You need to have a knowledge on aptitude. You need to have a knowledge on your core skills and everything. But apart from that, each and every company, you got to first understand the recruitment process. This I'm telling you in terms of like being a hard worker and being a smart worker. If you're really a smart worker, first try to understand the recruitment process as such. Okay, what is the recruitment process? What is the company that is coming in for placements? That would be my first thing. Okay, first understand the company that is coming in for placement. Then understand the recruitment process of the company. Understand whether it is a linear adaptive or psychometric testing. What type of testing they do. Then the most important thing is like assessing the assessment vendor as such. Is there an assessment vendor like a TCSI on AMCAD, CoCubes? What are all the model questions and everything under these assessment vendors? Practice those. Okay, and then the most important thing is like whether it is a product company or a service company or even an ITA sector, each section will have its own weightage as such. What is the reason for giving you weightage? The simple reason is a product company would be like more driven towards your uh, technical skills. A service company would be like, it would be like 50-50 of aptitude and a 50% of technical. A data analytic company will be more uh, keen to understand whether you're strong on the data analytic part, like on your statistics and everything. So you got to understand that uh, you got to understand the real fact that what is the weightage for each and every section which changes from a company to another company. And the most important thing is like how do you choose and ignore questions? This is something that needs to be like very, very careful because now you understand that 
each and every company the recruitment test has a duration fixed to it you cannot sit on a single question for the entire if you don't know a question you cannot sit on it for the entire duration of the online test so you should be like really smart enough to choose and ignore between the questions and this is the most important thing okay compilation versus code efficiency i hear a lot of students saying that my code has got compiled but the test cases are not passing the most important aspect of any training program is to make sure that your code is efficient and all the private and say public test cases leave it out all the private test cases or whatever you call as a hidden test cases are there to ensure that your code is written in the most efficient way so that it passes all the test cases and that's the most important thing that you got to understand it's not just about like a program getting compiled but the real part is like about all the the test case is getting passed so that's the most important thing as far as a placement is concerned and this is something the chart that i'm showing out here is typically on the quantitative aptitude part telling you like okay these are all the list of companies that are available on the top tcs cognizant the first four are typically first three are typically the high paying jobs in tcs cognizant and wipro and again comes your tcs ninja cognizant wipro and everything okay this is typically to tell you what are all the topics that are required in each of these companies for under quants and this is for reasoning and this is for verbal as such okay so this is something about the the placements that are going to be like available and this is typically what are all the programming languages that are required to crack into the product and uh, the service companies okay so this is a small chart that kind of tells you this okay the most important thing that i'm going to come now is like for this particular batch what do we see as such okay this year already uh, you would have seen like hack with infi is like kind of happening now infi tq is already got over upcoming events are like a look at co uh, code vita that's going to come up and even other companies are like kind of giving up a few of the coding contest please make sure that even if you don't crack these coding contest please make sure that you participate in these coding contest the simple reason why i'm asking you or the, or the it's a more of a request that i'm placing to participate in this coding contest is to make sure or to make you understand what is the level of expectation for all these companies okay so this coding contest is going to be like a very big factor as far as this year recruitment is going to get concerned and what we are seeing in the this year and probably in the upcoming years is like most of the service company hirings are going to be a pan india kind of an hiring i believe all of you are aware that tcs uh, does its recruitment through something called as tcs ninja wherein it is a pan india kind of recruitment where in one particular day all the students across india will be writing a common examination and they would be choosing the best first 40000 or 30000 depending on the company numbers and then you have your interviews this is how tcs is recruiting this is how wipro is recruiting and this year what we are hearing from the market is even companies like cognizant and accenture will also get into the same mode okay so that is something that's going to be a bigger challenge this year and even and now apart from that last year also we saw this with a lot of students is this virtual hiring process okay i understand the online test is nothing great okay because even you sit in a college or not or even sit in front of an hr or not the online test anyways you're going to look at the computer and you're going to do it but this interview process is turning out to be really really difficult wherein lot of students are now facing the challenge wherein see i'll, I'll give you a small example even though you see when you speak in term, when when you speak when you speak standing in front of a person and when you speak through him through a zoom call or a google meet or over the phone there is a lot of difference i am pretty much sure that you will not be able to convey all the thoughts in you will not be basically i'll tell you like put it in a simple words you will not be basically you will not be able to be like very expressive when you are able to speak in front of someone okay so that is going to be a very big challenge this year in terms of virtual hiring wherein all your hr interviews and everything is going to be done virtually and that is where you got to be prepared okay there there should be lot of practice sessions that you should be like kind of uh, going through to understand how a virtual interview is going to happen whether you are able to express all the thoughts that you are ha having in your mind okay that is something very 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 important wherein you got to understand that i am able to communicate everything to the uh, person sitting right in front of you in a very clear and precise manner because it's obvious because to my understanding it's always easier to speak to a person right sitting in right in front of us but when we when we speak through a virtual environment it is always very 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 difficult and where do you really get started with the train uh, with with all this process is something that i'm going to like kind of walk you through obviously you got to be trained in all the courses and everything i think uh, this is an online portal okay i just log into the online portal just to tell you like how do we really get started what is there in the online portal what how does this online portal really help students to kind of 
uh, get through their placements and everything okay what we have done this year is like we have built this learning management system where in this learning management system will be an end to end system that will be like kind of helping students to prepare in their placements here if you look at it you have all the technical courses aptitude courses company specific courses competitive program programming courses like hack with infinity cs code vita infinity q and all these things will be like kind of what whenever there is a competitive programming contest everything will be like kind of displayed here and all the upcoming courses are all like kind of questioned here okay when i just get into a technical course i'll just tell you like how this technical course is kind of start here okay i'll just click on the basic c programming course what we have done here is like for example you take a c programming course okay all the programming courses like c programming advanced c programming basic data structure advanced data structure basic algorithm advanced algorithm are all stacked up like this wherein initially you will have an e learning content wherein all the topics that are required for you to master basics of c will be available if you look at it all these videos are all like home grown videos in the sense like these are all built by our internal team we are not like mapping any of the videos that are available in youtube what we have done is we have prepared all these videos we have hosted that in youtube and we have linked it here these are all videos that are developed by our internal faculties so that it helps you to kind of revise any topic at any particular point of time or if you are absent for any of the training sessions or anything and go ahead and revise it so all the topics that are required to master c are all available here and here if you look at it you have a level 0 a level 1 a level 2 and a level 3 these are typically the level 0 is typically the least uh, difficult programs and then you kind of progress through with the most difficult programs like level 1 will be like a much higher uh, degree of difficulty level 2 will be like more difficult level 3 will be like very difficult so that is how we have started but the topics under each of these will remain the same there will be no change in the topic just that the difficulty level of questions will be different and then you can go ahead and just open these courses start practicing all the programs that are like available in these particular courses as such so that is how we have kind of uh, like kind of pushed it through and i believe like most of you would be aware like how the uh, the training window sorry the code window looks like okay so here i would advise you is like before starting here go through all the videos go get yourself prepared and then start practicing each and every program in each and every level just start with a level 0 go into a level 1 go into a level 2 and then into a level 3 practice each and everything that is available on this online portal okay this is typically how your coding window looks this is where you type in your code you can compile your code you can submit your code everything will be available in this portal as such okay and then if you look at it i'm just like coming here so these are all your aptitude courses the quantitative reasoning and verbal everything is kind of available here So I'm just like opening all the courses just to show you like how do you prepare yourself and now I'll come to the most important thing like what is required to crack into a product company and what is required to crack into a service company what are all the things that you would be required to kind of practice in this online portal to ensure that you crack into these companies that is something that I'm going to now talk about okay now typically if you look at it the reason why we have started like basic c advanced c basic data structure and advanced data structure is simply because we have defined a syllabus okay the defining of the syllabus is something that i'm going to show it right now i'm just going to show it out here okay okay so for cracking into a training program what we have done is we have defined a syllabus a syllabus that will include okay out here okay this is how i look at it okay see here to crack into a product based company you would require an aptitude at a level 3 okay that is the highest order of aptitude wherein a one would be more of a beginner level two would be the one that is required to crack into a service based company a three is something that will be required to crack into a product based companies 
So we have three levels of aptitude and a level three will be required to crack into a product company. A level two will be required to crack into a code, com into a uh, service-based company. So we have two defined modules, prod fit and code fit. Prod fit typically for all the product batch students, code fit, fit typically for all the service batch students. And for the pro students who aspire to get into a product-based company, anything that pays you greater than five lakhs, you definitely have to know basic advanced C, basic data structure, advanced data structure, and algorithms. Again, I would classify that as basic and advanced algorithms. A student who is aspiring to get into a service-based company, like I said, aptitude at a level two is more than enough. Basic C and basic structure is more than enough. A bit of advanced C would be on a safer bit. Okay, so that is how we need to kind of do this and what i would suggest is like all students who want to get placed in product based companies go into this website stopstock.com okay make a note of this go into this website create a profile for yourself okay because what happens once you create a profile there you can map all your uh, other portals like all your hacker rank hacker earth and everything and then as and when you solve programs in hacker rank hacker earth and everything you get a point that is generated in this particular website Okay, so I would re uh, request like all of you who are like getting into, who, who are aspiring to get into product based companies to create a profile in stop stock. And once you have a points like this, okay, because as and when you develop programs and everything, as and when you solve programs, points get generated. And for getting into a marquee company, uh, anything that is great, if you're able to have like a 25,000 points in that particular portal, you can just take a printout of that, attach that in your resume and once you present even a digital resume or even a hard copy resume, you can just attach the score sheet into it once you present it to one recruiter during your interview, the one-to-one -one interview, right? The simple reason is once an interviewer sees you having a score greater than 20,000, 25,000, it's a very clear indication that he will understand that you have put in tons and tons of effort because getting this score is no easy joke. It cannot be done overnight. It needs at least a longer period of time. So if you're really aspiring to get into such kind of high placement companies, please ensure that you create a login here, map all your hacker rank, hacker earth, code share for all your IDs there and ensure you start generating points. That is very, very, very important to kind of uh, get a product placement. And like I said, once you cross this 15,000, 20,000 points, take a printout of that particular screen, attach it along with your resume because that will carry a lot of weightage during your one-to-one -one, uh, interview as such, okay? And what, I, what I'm doing now is like, I'm just like walking to you through the syllabus that is required. All these topics are all available in our online portal, okay? So these are all the topics that are required in quantitative aptitude, reasoning aptitude, and as well as verbal aptitude. You might see here, lots and lots of topics have got added this year. The simple reason, like I said, is typically because now if you look at it, since all the companies are looking for a fan India recruitment, all these companies, Infosys, Cognizant, Wiprod, Accenture, all these companies have different, different patterns. Once you have different, different pattern, what really happens is the number of topics gets really increased. And that is where we ensure that we handle all these topics and all the training programs, make sure like we master you in all these topics. And once I master you in all these topics, it becomes easier for you when these companies start to come in for placements. And that's the reason if you look at it, the topic list is like, it's like, it's, it's like pretty huge out here. Okay. And this, if you look at it, what you've done with respect to the technical syllabus, the entire orientation that is available in our online portal. I showed you the videos, right? The same videos, we have just we have just put a syllabus, you've just defined syllabus like this, a part one, part two, part three, like this for basic C, for advanced C, we have defined it like this. And if you look at it, videos for all these parts are available in our online portal. Okay, whatever content I'm showing here on the screen, this is for advanced C, all these things are available as e-learning videos into in our portal, my slate. Okay, and what I'm showing here is for basic data structure, and again, same, all these topics are all available in the online portal. I'll even show it to you. And this is advanced data structures. Okay. And as I scroll down, I get into the algorithm part of it. And like I said, for a person who wants to crack into product fit, that is the product based companies, he has to know basic C, advanced C, basic adva data structures, advanced data structures and algorithms. These are all very, very, very important to crack into a product based company, a person who is aspiring to get into a service based company, see a bit of advanced to see and basic data structure should be more than enough. And as I get into the portal, now I can show you.
my internet is pretty slow out here once again yeah so now as i come here this is going to be advanced data structures all the topics that i showed in the syllabus are available as e learning videos out here okay once i go here i open this e learning content all the topics that i showed in the syllabus e learning content is available here okay and the practice modules are available at the bottom you can start practicing it this is for advanced to see as i move into data structure the same thing once i open this all videos related to data structure e learning videos whatever i showed in the syllabus everything is available here okay and as i scroll down the practice modules are all available here okay so you can get started with this immediately you need not wait for anyone you can just get started with this immediately okay and now once i open advanced data structures again a similar thing all the e learning videos whatever i showed in the syllabus is available here and the practice modules are also available here similarly if you look at it for algorithms all the e learning content is available here whatever topics i showed all the e learning content is available here the practice modules will be added in a week's time okay so this is how we have stacked up our online portal for c advanced c basic data structure advanced data structures and algorithm if you look at it all these videos every all videos whatever i showed in the syllabus is all available here and again this is for advanced algorithms simple uh, what i've done is the algorithms part i've just split it into basic algorithm and advanced algorithm so all the e learning videos for advanced algorithm is also available here and apart from that i understand some of the product based companies ask for java as well as for uh, python so what we have done is we have also prepared e learning content students who are preparing for all the prp for java for prp for wipro and all these java things can go ahead and watch all the videos wherein all everything is available for java out here and for python if you look at it all the practice modules are all like kind of available for python also i don't know python sorry so similarly if you look at it what we have done is similar in a similar way we have kept it for quants also quants reasoning and verbal all the e learning videos are available here more e learning videos will be added all the practice modules are available here similarly if you open for reasoning the e learning videos are all available here you can go through this more videos are getting added every week all the practice modules are all available here again for verbal if you look at it all the e learning videos are all for all the topics are all available here okay and then if you look here all the practice modules are all available here so this is how we have stacked this online portal as such and like i said we want this online portal to be a one stop place wherein any student who is preparing for placement should be able to kind of get in and prepare himself for competitive exams or for uh, so not for competitive for placements and everything i'm just like opening something for the uh, the model that i defined right the the company based questions and everything again if you look here i've just clicked on wipro So if you look here, Wipro, all the e-learning videos for Wipro will be available. All the practice tests for Wipro will all be available here. And similar way, we are adding more tests out here. In a similar way, if you look at it, all companies, Infosys, Cognizant, Accenture, everything will be added in the coming weeks. Okay, everything will be available for you. Just keep checking. Whenever there is something, we'll also keep you informed about it. And again, if you open Code Vita. again if you look at it all the e learning content for code vita is available the practice modules will be added quickly okay if you look at it all code vita whatever questions were asked in the past uh, few years everything is available as e learning videos the practice modules will be added in a few days out here okay so this is how we have stacked it up and the most important thing the most most important thing that i want to kind of tell everyone is this common talent assessment test i believe everyone should have come across this common talent assessment test okay it's called as seat that this is a test that we run every year and what we do here is every saturday and sunday we have a test that is being conducted on one company specific for example last week we did for infosys and wipro today tcs is happening tomorrow another test is going to happen so every weekend saturday one company test sunday one company test so every weekend this is going to happen and what we do is all clients across south india whomever we train and everything all these colleges will be taking up this test on this particular day and then on monday we will be releasing a rank list a rank list which will comprise of all our client institutions wherein you will be able to see yourself you need not benchmark yourself against your classmates against your friends and everything 
whereas i will be releasing a rank list that will have almost all the bigger institutions in south india so now you will be able to kind of benchmark yourself say suppose you are from an x college you need not compare yourself against students of that particular x college alone what you can do is you can compare yourself against colleges that are even like higher than you for example you belong to a krishna group of institutions now until now the competition is within your college within your department wherein you start comparing you will always be comparing against your friends whether i am scoring more marks than my friends whether i am scoring more marks than my peers in the same college but now what you get is you get yourself to compete against other institutions like ssn st joseph uh, geetam university klu lot of institutions you will be able to kind of a uh, benchmark yourself and see like where do you stand in terms of, so once you complete a test if you are there in the top like i would say like okay say suppose like total number of students who have taken up once you open the rank list if you say like the total number of students who have taken up the test is like around 10000 if you are there in the top 30% you have a very good chance when tcs cognizant or all these companies come into your campus you have a very good chance of cracking yourself into those examinations typically rank 1 to 3000 say suppose only 5000 students have taken up the test rank number what is the 30% in it 1 to 5, 1 to 1500 so you should always keep yourself in a benchmark wherein you are like able to be there in the top 30% and that is where you should like kind of benchmark yourself not just among your colleges but among our institutions we have just started the ctat last week students who have not had taken the test i'll open up all the test you can start taking the test once we generate a rank list keep we will be publishing the rank list to you also once you are like once you start looking at those ranks and everything like i said please ensure that you are there in the top 30% if you are not there in the top 30% it really means that you are not okay or you are not in the right track to crack into a service or a product based companies not just service based companies you will also have product based companies companies for example tcs hiring higher pay package like 7 8 lakhs those model tests will also start happening here so it is just a benchmark for you to kind of understand where you really stand so please ensure that you take this test seriously and then you kind of score really good marks and please ensure that you are there in the top 30% okay so that marks an end to my